Hey there, this is John from Stormy Studio. Um, this is another video to quickly show I've rewritten my bounce script that I gave away for free yesterday because um, it annoyed me that you had to make three self attributes to make it work and that's annoying if you're trying to quickly paste it onto actors in your scene because the rules don't work, you have to make the attributes, it won't recognise them, you end up having to fix a few of the rules and it's a bit annoying. So I've remade it, this is the old one, this is the new one. With the new one you don't need to make any attributes at all, you just paste in the rules and it all takes care of itself. Um, and there's no uh, constraints or anything, so it's nice and clean. And also, I've set it so it takes your starting width and height as its target width and height. So you can set your button up, and the bounce will take care of the rest. Um, let me show you that again. Boing! So, how have I done this? Oh, actually, I'll quickly show you. Let's make a brand new actor. Check it in the scene. Go in here. Let's grab my bounce into existence code, just copy that. Actually, let's put it into my custom behaviors. You could just copy and paste it from this project to another one and it'll work. But yeah, put it into my custom behaviors. Into there. Into my new blank actor. So I can either paste it or go down to custom and drag it in. Press play and we have a new bounce. Um, so how is that being done? Um, so instead of using new self-attributes, I'm making use of what we have available. So assuming your button isn't making use of physics, you can use this script. So I'm using density as the target width, friction as the target height, and self-name becomes a bounce value. Um, I had to rewrite some of the code that I used for the other sort of bounce. Um, and I couldn't use bounciness for a bounciness value because it's limited to two on here and none of these could do it either because they won't uh, go to a negative but a self name lets you type whatever you want although it is a text string which called for some slightly different rules at the bottom so uh, yeah, I'm setting the target width, target height and bounciness here um, and then we tell the uh, uh, Tell the actor to go down to zero at the start. And then it's checking to see if it's arrived at its target. If it hasn't, it interpolates to it. When it has reached it, it says, um, are you greater than or lower than the final target? And then it will change the text string um, bounce value from 40 to minus 30, from minus 30 to 20, from 20 to minus 10, and from minus 10 to zero. Um, and that's it, and it takes care of itself. So not as much control as the other one, but very quick and easy to apply. 